in Scotland the last week in June and normally coincides with the end of the school year. This is the time when pupils normally finish for the summer and for a number of years I've had the privilege of being involved in school services to mark the close of school for that particular year. But not this year. The lockdown has meant that school children have been out of school since March and the opportunity to mark the end of a school year has been lost. I have, however, many memories of schools closing for the summer and especially of primary school children who have reached primary seven saying farewell prior to moving to secondary school in August. And for many people it's an emotional time, a change, the memories of which will remain for many years to come. One of the songs which is often sung at these summer services is One More Step Along the World I Go and it's from the old I travel to the new. Keep me travelling along with you. The words mark the fact that life does change. Things move on. But there's almost a prayer in these words that we would know God's presence as we travel through life. But it's not just school life which changes. In many ways, we continually travel from the old to the new. Every one of us. Turning to think of summer holidays, I think we'd agree that travelling needs preparation. In normal years, many people would be preparing for such a time at this time in the year. Depending on their destination, they'd be selecting the appropriate clothes to take on holiday. I often see people packing up caravans and motorhomes in advance of using them to go away. They clearly have a lot of preparations to make. But this year, things might be rather different. The coronavirus has changed our lives in so many different ways. Many people, unfortunately, might not get a holiday for some time. A number of friends have recently moved house and there's also the idea of travelling when we think of such a move. And for that, even greater preparation is required. A great deal of sorting out and even throwing out needs to take place. And also there needs to be planning regarding how to organise things like furniture in that new home what, will, will what we have actually fit in that different location? Why am I using such illustrations? Simply because biblically we all need to be preparing for a move. A real one. The ultimate one. If we are Christians, if we have come to our living faith in Jesus Christ, then we have to be preparing ourselves for a relocation adventure to our heavenly home. Although sadly, if such faith is not ours, then we're going to find ourselves in another home altogether, in an eternity where Christ is absent. But if it's heaven to where we are headed, then we should give thought and attention to what life in this new place is going to be like, and what we need to be doing to prepare for it. What do we need to keep and what do we need to get rid of? Three times in the book of Revelation, the last book in the Bible, heaven is referred to as the holy city simply because God lives there and rules there. It's a place of indescribable joy and beauty, a place which is free of sickness and sadness. A place without sin. And as no sin is allowed in that holy destination, believers should have the desire not to hold on to sin now. I find the words which Peter brings us in Second Peter chapter 3 to be a particular challenge. He writes, Since you are looking forward to this, make every effort to be found spotless, blameless and at peace with him. If you are lacking faith in Christ, then I pray that you would come to trust him 
and to know him as your Saviour and your Lord. But if such faith is yours, can I encourage you to get ready for this final trip, which is sometime in the future. Thank you for listening, and may God bless you.